Welcome to the Alma Beach Management Scheme. This fantastic project to protect over 300 properties has not only had to have the usual project difficulties, it's also had to deal with four significant name storms and more recently coronavirus. I'd like to thank the teams involved from the Environment Agency, our contractor TVO, our partners at Arran District Council and the local Elmer residents to get this project over the finishing line. It gives me great pleasure to formally announce that this project is now open. Elmer Sands is located on the south coast, close to the seaside resort town of Bognor Regis. Coastal erosion and flooding have been an ongoing issue along this stretch of coastline for many years, so the Environment Agency, in partnership with the Arran District Council and Elmer Sands Limited, has funded the Elmer Beach Management Scheme. Elmer Sands and the area to the west of it has been affected by flooding, most notably in 1989-90 storms when we had three successive storms on three successive tides and that affected about 200 properties being flooded out and some of the properties were evacuated for up to three months. The scheme here at Elmer was constructed in the 90s and it created a number of rock islands to protect the Elmer Sands estate. And they performed really well until about 2013-14 when some significant storms started to erode the shingle bank. So this new scheme's provided a much more robust uh, way of protecting the uh, properties. Team Van Ord was contracted to carry out the work, which took place between autumn 2019 and spring 2020. The completed scheme will improve the beach's coastal defences and better protect homes and properties from future flooding and coastal erosion. This project reinforced the existing rock revetment and we extended it by almost 200 metres using 20,000 tonnes of rock. A combination of Cornish granite from Falmouth and limestone from Boulogne in France was delivered by rock barge at high tide and recovered up the beach using an extractor and dumpers at low tide. We've recharged the beach with 12,500 cubic metres of shingle and we've constructed a new boat ramp. Right from the start of the scheme, the inception of it, uh, we've had uh, consultation events, and drop-in schemes and newsletters been circulated. One thing that has been useful to the residents is the use of an app which shows where the barges are coming in from sea, whereabouts they are at that time, um, and so they will know when they might get a little bit of disturbance overnight. We've had, unfortunately had to work some quite unsocial hours to work with the tides and we're really grateful for the local residents for putting up with that disruption. The, uh, those residents are quite happy that the, the shingle has come in because the material was delivered just before storms Kiara and Dennis and so they were very much better protected due to the shingle being on the beach at that time. Recharging the beach required spraying large quantities of shingle from a dredger at high tide when the dredger could get as close to the shore as possible in a technique known as rainbowing. Like the rock, once the shingle has been sprayed onto the low tide area of the beach, it is moved by dumper trucks and then spread and profiled on the eroded areas to create the new beach. Well, in the existing revetment, we've uh, created some rock pools at the, at the bottom of the revetment. And we've uh, also included a number of striations or cuts into the rock uh, to create habitat. Uh, and then in the new revetment, we've introduced uh, different rock types to allow uh, additional habitat to be formed. And this will uh, be part of a research project into the future. The EA collaborated with the contractor, rock suppliers and Glasgow University on a unique and innovative greening the grey scheme for the rock revetment. They designed an ecologically enhanced revetment to create a wildlife environment for a wide variety of sea creatures and life-supporting vegetation. The Cornish granite primary armour stone layer 
was interspersed with 5% Boulogne limestone to create ecological development within the intertidal zone. A secondary armorstone layer of Boulogne limestone will provide shaded and sheltered habitat to encourage ecological growth of biodiverse species. This scheme will become a Natural Environment Research Council case study and will be monitored to evaluate its success. Elmer's coastline environment is an internationally recognised habitat, rich in coastal vegetated shingle. Before works began, these areas were surveyed and protected from the works. Well, not only is the vegetated shingle being protected and enhanced where possible, the contractors have taken the opportunity to use some of the rock to make benches which are in keeping with the, the natural environment. Also another feature of the scheme was removing parts of damaged groins which were dangerous to users on the beach, and, but using the material that was taken out to create sculptures. We've also saved carbon by bringing in materials by barge rather than by lorry loads, which has been a, a real carbon benefit. Arran District Council has recently declared a climate emergency, so working with the Environment Agency on this scheme gave us every opportunity to help work towards those goals. Um, greening the grey wherever we could helped a lot as well, um, so just improving the environment generally and working towards those goals is uh, a very good thing for everybody on the planet, I think. The project has cost an estimated four and a half million pounds, and the visual change to the beach is significant. The beauty of this project is that it's not going to require a large amount of maintenance. We do have a maintenance plan and that will direct us as and when we need to provide additional maintenance to the assets or whether or not we need to provide a beach recharge and that will make sure that the scheme will continue operating for the next 50 years. Well, the scheme has gone very well. Not only we protected this area and to its required standard of defence, but there's a scheme about a kilometre up the coastline that also needed some rock. So we've used the good working relationship we have with the Environment Agency to load about another 400 tonnes on one of their deliveries that could be used up the coastline, um, saving disturbance to the residents and saving money in the, in the same time as well. I'm really pleased with the way that this project has been delivered. We've protected 325 properties. The project was completed on time and to budget and we met the government targets and we've created some fantastic environmental enhancements here as well.